Hi, I'm Adam from Talk to the Wiki podcast, and I'm here with Paul Weston at Sussex Comic Con in the UK. Hi, Paul. Hi, Adam. Please tell us your role within the Star Wars universe. Uh, roles. roles, yes. Um, I, on uh, uh, Return of the Jedi, which was originally called Revenge of the Jedi, um, I played uh, Nikto, uh, Nikto uh, the skip pilot, the Dane, uh, and uh, I broke my leg on that, falling into the Sarlacc pit, yes. That's quite a claim to fame. Yes, yeah. I was uh, doubling, uh, I was fighting uh, Billy D. Williams' double, um, uh, and he, the wire broke, the cable broke on his uh, harness, and we both fell into the Sarlacc pit, and uh, he fell on top of me, breaking my leg. So wow. that, that was that, uh, and then I've worked on um, The Last Jedi, uh, and uh, the one before that, um, what was the one before that? Uh, I think Rogue One you were in oh Rogue One yes yeah. that was the last uh, thing yeah and really enjoyable that one so did they feel like they had to get you back because they broke your leg and the I think so thing. yeah yeah <laughs> feeling a bit guilty so how did you get your role in Star Wars in the first instance um, I've been working with Peter Diamond who was a stunt coordinator on it um, uh, over the years and um, we worked well together so yeah give me a call and said you want to come out to the States and uh work on this film called um, uh, Blue Harvest. Oh yeah, that's the, uh, the filming name. Yes, yeah. the filming name. So yeah, we went out there and um, it turned out to be the Star Wars and uh, <clears throat> I really enjoyed it, really right. good. So what was your first impression of Star Wars when you kind of read the script or, or tried on the costume? Uh, well, when we, we started it, uh, trying on costumes and I played several characters um, on the, um, the barge uh, and on the skip obviously but um yeah i mean just uh, the costumes were weird and you know uh uh the the, the equipment they gave us it was uh, weird you know just you, you didn't think it was going to be much i was going to say it didn't yeah. feel special at the time it just no. felt a bit crazy yeah it? a bit weird you know and uh i remember talking to the uh, lighting cameraman um uh, uh taylor um and gill and he said that when he first did Star Wars, um, he, he didn't think it was going to be any good at all. He said, I, I couldn't believe there was all these men running around in, in uh, plastic suits, firing nothing at people falling over. He said, I didn't think this was going to take off at all. Hindsight's a one. Yes, thing, yeah. So, yeah, I think that's um, once, you, once you got into the universe of, of um, his mind. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I think that um, you know it, it all came to, to, to together, and it's and I think what George Lucas did was was to get every element uh, of fantasy um, and reality and put them together. He put it, you know they were uh, World War II pilots, yep. um, they were damsels in distress, they were knights at the round table, they were uh, and he was in his mind he put all that together. Yeah, I, was, I heard he was influenced by Flash Gordon and all that. Yeah, kind of stuff. yeah. I mean, it's just a, a amazing um, imagery that he had of, of the story and, and to follow it through at a young age that he did in an in industry that was as tough as anything to get money to, to, to make um, movies, let alone a, a, a new fantasy. But, uh, they must have uh, had faith in him. To, to, to give him the money to do it. Oh, I think he gave them a good return. Yeah. Oh, God, did he? <laughs> so, uh, I think you might have already answered this, but what was your most memorable moment working on a Star Wars movie? Was it? Um, other than breaking your other leg, Other than maybe? breaking my leg. It was, it was just a joy of meeting and get, becoming friends with um, Carrie Fisher, which I did over the years. Um, and uh, just to be part of that, uh, the group of people, of the actors, um, and and the dedication that they had. I mean, I, I was just amazed that um, we had fun doing some, you know, tricky stuff. So did you remain kind of friends with Carrie? Oh yeah, oh. until until the end. Yes, oh, really? yeah, wow. yes. We uh, had some good times together in, over the years. So do you still think you've been able to enjoy the kind of Star Wars saga and the story despite seeing behind the curtain? You know, have you, have you still enjoyed watching the movies? Or uh... yes, yeah, I, I obviously watched the stories and the growth of of Luke and and 
the, the, the process of the, of, the, of the story. And I loved working on uh, Rogue One, which was uh, a, a good movie in itself. Um, and one of my favorites actually, yeah. out of the whole saga. Um, and when you think that that's a prequel, um, and it's still good, yeah. It's, you know. Um, yeah, I think all the, all the stories, I, I got lost a little in, you know, too much CGI in, in the middle Three ones, calls, yeah. yeah. Um, but, um, I, yes, I loved them all. So uh, how, how did it come about that you got the part in, in Rogue One then? How, how did that happen? Again, um, uh, knowing the, the, the people knowing me, I suppose, rather than uh, anything else, yeah, I just got a call um, and from uh, the, the stunt coordinator and... Um, and the producers and uh, yeah they got the part so fantastic it was nice so what do you think the future holds for star wars with the kind of success of the disney plus shows do you think they'll continue to make movies or do you think it's very much a tv series well now uh yeah i think it's been slightly diminished because it's they've sort of flooded the market with it but i think that the individual movies will still work and they will they they will be as as um, successful as all the others, but they have to be individual movies uh, with with you know good stories and good characters. I think that's why Rogue One worked so well. Yes, it was kind of a story within a story. Almost, yes, it? yeah, so it kind of and you were interested in to see which way it was, where it was going to go uh, in the story, uh, and the characters were good. So. Yeah. Do you follow any of the Star Wars expanded universe in any way, kind of the books I, or games or comics? No, or I don't. No, I'm afraid not. And uh, many Star Wars actors kind of collect memorabilia of the characters they play. Is that is that something you do? Have you got a I do, collection? yeah. I've, I've got um, the Rogue One character, a little character, a little t um, a toy, and uh, and uh, one of Vadine, the skip pilot on uh, Return, Return of the Jedi. Because you've done many other movies as well, haven't you? Just give us a kind of quick run through of some uh, of your highlights. Um, I've done, I think, eight Bond films as um, stunts and stunt coordinator. <clears throat> Aliens, um, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. I did Superman one, two, and three as as the double and as um, uh, the stunt coordinator. Uh, yes, it's I mean quite a special list that you've. Uh, you've worked yeah, on. just over the years, so many. Um, How did you get into stunts in the first place? Then How did you... I was modelling. I was a, a photographic and uh, fashion model in the early sixties. And my agent sent me to understudy Roger Moore on the old Saint series. Uh, Roger wanted to direct an episode of uh, himself, and so he needs somebody to play his part with the other actors mm -hmm. while he lined up the camera. So I did that, and uh, I got on so well with Roger. Uh, he said, why don't you stick around? And uh, I, I played a little part and got thrown into a... Uh, because there were wasn't really any stunt organization then so anyone could do it no health and safety getting in no, the way back then no. so i got thrown through a glass cabinet and that was okay so they said you're a good double for the guy on the next episode do you want to do his part and i said how much so it's not like there was formal training in stunts or no, anything it was no. just kind of learn on the job yes yeah and that's the way it was and uh, we we got our first side organization in the maybe uh 68 67, 68, and then we, we started getting insurance and getting some respect, uh, and we got registered with the equity in 73. So we've had a good organization ever since then with insurance and, uh, and safety. So you played your part in kind of making that happen then? Yeah, I'm afraid so, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's great. So do you enjoy doing uh, conventions and meeting fans? Yeah, I love it because I see, you know, people like Pam and I see all... Uh, the people that you worked with over That's the years. Trevor, we just spoke to Trevor and he was saying the same thing. Yeah. He, he, he enjoys it most because he sees people he used to work with. Absolutely, and, uh, yeah. Good and reason for a coffee and a catch-up. It is, yes, and a beer. <laughs> so what's the uh, the most interesting thing that you've been asked to sign by a Star Wars fan? I'd imagine you've seen some... Uh... It, um, yeah, I mean, uh, it, you, the usual things, but uh, sometimes, like, uh, I, this morning I got my figure of the Dean, my skiff pilot, and I had to sign... Oh, was it one of the Lego figures? Yes. Was it? Yeah. yeah. I've, I've I had to sign them. one of those, which I've never had to do before. Makes it a bit tricky. You need glasses for that kind <laughs> yes. of thing, no? um, So what do you like to do with your time outside of Star Wars Universe now? I mean, what, 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 do you, what are you doing at the moment? Um, writing my book, writing oh, okay. uh, my kind life stories. Yes, thing, yeah. yeah. So that's uh, it's taken me some time, but it, it's... I've got so much to tell 
that I've got a, a book from uh, the early days in the 60s up until 1984, and it's a full book. And I haven't even got on to, to the, the start of the bigger movies that I, I did. And I used to write mutes, um, music in LA, so I, I used to, I knew um, Sammy Davis Jr. and I used to go to his house. I used to. Wow. Um, friends like with had such a fascinating life. Yeah, yeah. I was friends with uh, Hugh Hefner, and I used to go up there every Sunday for a Sunday lunch and uh, see a movie. So yeah, I got to write all that down yet. So that's another book. Um, so when are you hoping to? to well, the, the first book uh, is done. It's just a matter of uh, editing it now. Uh, I got sort of a, a quarter of the way through this part two. So. Uh, maybe the end of this year, hopefully. Great. Well, look out yeah. for it. Yeah, it'd be great. Yeah, right. it'd be nice Thanks to a lot see for it. your time. It's a pleasure. pleasure. Have, enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you.